je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est horreros, et va s'entendre, pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats, le cirque est plein ce jour de fête, le cirque est plein d'automates, le spectateur, Hi everybody! Guess where we are? That's right, we're at the new house. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. This is where we come in. This is our front door. We have a nice little closet here. This really neat built in. They had put shoes in it. We might put movies. Haven't decided. But yeah, this is the living room and the dining room. Beautiful built-ins. Obviously that chair is going to go back in the living room. Beautiful built-ins. Lots of cupboard space here. This is my favorite room in the house. It's a kitchen. We have some nice stainless steel appliances. One of my favorite things. I've always wanted a sink that looked out to my backyard. And I got it. That's the backyard. With the three seasons porch out there. Um, I've also always wanted a water thing on the fridge, so that's pretty cool. We're going to come into Alex's room next. It's okay, buddy. Go to sleep. Um, this is Alex's room. Sorry, it's dark in here and the lights are off because he's trying to go to sleep and I don't have the swing. I only have his car seat here. Next, um, we're thinking this will probably be the master. The reason why we're picking a smaller room is because we don't spend any time in it. We go to bed for a couple hours. It's okay, buddy. But so, this is probably going to be the master. It's just kind of a small, plain room for now. Eventually, we're going to knock out that wall and expose it so that it's a huge master. Um, let me show you another one of my favorite rooms. Um, this is our bathroom. So, totally cool. Regular plain bathroom? Not. Look at this tub. Gorgeous. Now we have a nice big shower. Some light. Built in stuff. Hi, guys. That's the backyard again. Kids, go give the baby his pacifier for me. Okay. Look at that jewelry spot. I mean, gorgeous bathroom. So, then we have the children's apartment. This door closes off this entire area of the house. Mommy, Can you, you wait? You gotta have him by yourself. Okay. This is Aiden's room. This will eventually also be Alex's room. Putting away some cloth diapers, lots of built-ins. The front yard. Ours is the hill over there. This is our driveway. And then we go down the hall. There's a linen closet for the kids. And this is Alan's room. He's got a nice sized room. All of the kids got decent sized rooms. Another one of the favorite rooms. I'm going to skip the bathroom. I'll go back to that because I had to show you guys Amelia's room. Now this room, if it weren't in the location it is in, I would have totally taken this room. This is Amelia's room. Look at those lamps up there. They are gorgeous. This room is seriously, I mean, built in shelves. Every girl dream room. Booty mommies. Her room overlooks the backyard. Backyard or fire pit. Her room overlooks the backyard, but here is the really cool thing about Amelia's room. Whoops! Look at this closet. Closet for days. I'm gonna see if it's possible. 
We might steal that out of there for the school room. Who knows? Who knows? We just don't know. But so this is Amelia's room. Like I said, I kind of joke and I call this the children's apartment. Because it's just the three bedrooms in this hallway. So that's Aiden's room, Alan's room, Amelia's room. But then they have their own bathroom, which is a gorgeous bathroom too. Right here. I'm still learning all the switches. Bear with me. This is their bathroom. So, this is where the children will do all of their morning routine stuff. And then, that's not even half the house. Well, let us keep going. So, now this room that I'm about to take you guys to. I have gone back and forth over whether this should be the master or not because it is gorgeous. Nice. I mean, look at this huge room. This house literally has everything I wanted right down to I've always wanted one of these windows. Like, literally. I've always wanted one of these windows. And now I have one. So cool. But yes, I thought about making this room the master. Here's the thing. Mike and I never spend any time in our room. So why make one of the biggest rooms in the house a room that's never spent any time in? So I ultimately decided this will be our school room. It is so huge. It has a nice closet here where I can easily put art supplies and school stuff. It has this nice shelf over here. I mean, tons of books on that. It is gonna be the perfect school room. I'm thinking the table with all of the computers over here. Um, probably put, probably thinking the reading corner right over here or something. I don't know, we'll have to test it out. But I really, really, really love this room. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so excited because we've been waiting so long to show you guys this. There's another door to the outside over here. I'm also trying to maneuver around Aiden, who's following me around. He's been following me around the whole night, um, telling me he's scared. Earlier, the kids did scare him. He, he's been over it, but he keeps saying he is, even though he's not. When you come down, you have two options. You can go straight, that'll take you to the playroom. Or, you can turn right, which takes you to the laundry room. I'll start with the playroom. So, when you walk into the playroom, there's this little area right here. Which I think this will be like the kitchen area, the Lego area, that kind of thing. And, I'm thinking the trampoline right over here in this corner of the playroom. The TV and stuff will probably be right here. And then, that big sectional that was in our other house is probably going to be like right here. So, well, I'm not sure. The trampoline might have to go on the other side. Yeah, it probably is going to have to go on the other side. And we have that huge sectional that is going to be in this room. So, pow! Um, if we continue on, this right here is going to be the man cave. So, daddy's space. And then we come around to... I'm really excited about this. I've always wanted one of these little benches. We come to where the garage is. This is the utility room where our furnace is and stuff. But then, this is our garage major room. Little Aiden. Um, then let me come around we have yet another bathroom that is right there are three bathrooms in this house this one is definitely your typical like basement type bathroom 
Um, not unus unusable by any means, but it's not like the upstairs, it's not as fancy, but it's still a nice bathroom. I shower down there. And then we have the laundry room. We've got our utility sink, our washer dryer. Um, I like this. This is a folding and sorting table. They left a garment rack here, so that's pretty cool. There's another little table here. Um, so totally awesome. And then basically we come right back to the start. Stairs to go up. So really cool. Yeah. Um, so next to where that school room is, I didn't show you guys, but I can now because it's like the least exciting part of the house. Alright. The car is on. So. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out all these lights. It looks like we have light down here. We'll see. Um. There is some light down here. <laughs> Not a lot. Okay, this basement is the unfinished basement. Um, we'll probably mostly be using it for storage, that kind of thing. It's very much unfinished. Um, there is a sauna room in here, which I'm really hoping that maybe over time we could get this functional again. There is no sound stove in here or anything, though. But I would love, love, love if we could fit, get this basement area fixed up and finished up more and turn it into a lady cave um, with a sound. I think that would be so cool if we finished up this part of the basement. And this could kind of be my space. Um, I gotta help Aiden back up the stairs. But yeah, so we are so excited to be in our new house. Let me grab my shoes so I can show you guys the back. I kind of showed you out the window, but I want to actually show you. I gotta shut this door. Keep any little ones from getting down there. I'm gonna have to put a lock on that room. Okay, so. Gotta go take care of the baby again. for now. Okay. Let me start with... Did you bring my box? Okay. This is the front yard. Let me back it up. This is the house. Um, that's our front yard. Cute little bench thing here. Got some decorative stuff down there. I'm gonna go back in and go through to show you the backyard. three seasons porch. I mean I'm pretty excited about this. This will be such a neat little area. You haven't seen this yard. Come on bud. Right here we have a patio, a little seating area, and all of this mowed area here is ours including that really nice fire pit apparently. Um, but this is our yard. 
What do you think, Damon? And a bubble. Do you see little kids? Statues? Alright, let's go in. Your toes are gonna get cold. It's a rainy, icky, cold day here today. Kind of a bummer that we're moving into our new house in the big yard and it's a rainy, icky day. But we have tomorrow. The next day and the next day because we are in the new house. So, yeah, this other door over here, I think I kind of pointed out here. This goes, it's locked right now. This goes into where Amelia's bedroom is. Okay. But yeah, guys, that is our new house. So, we are moving in. <laughs> right now, it's kind of, you know, step by step, we're getting there. Um, Daddy and a guy from work, one of our friends, went back to the old house to basically work on getting mattresses at least over here, um, probably a porta crib the swing, stuff like that, but yeah, um, I guess just keep watching the vlog, and I don't know when this is going to go up, because I don't have internet here yet, um, 24 hours I think we're supposed to have internet, so, then I'll also get our Memorial Day vlog up at the same time, alright guys, well, we will see you soon, have a great week.